Hi guys, in this video, you'll learn how to create a modern apartment in Blender. So the first thing I do in Blender 2.79 is I enable the Archipack add-on. Then using the toolbar on the left and also while in top view, I start to pretty much draw out the structure of the apartment unit. So just make any kind of shape that looks cool and then fill it up. And then uh, finally add a, a floor. So if you just simply click floor on the Archie Mesh add-on after you create your wall, it will fill out the floor exactly perfectly for you. And you can tweak the settings on the right. So since I wanted a balcony, I also went ahead and uh, pulled out some points to create um, a balcony. Once I was happy with the floor of the balcony, I went ahead and added a fence in the Archipack add-on to create the railings of the uh, balcony itself. You can uh, click on the white arrows um, and pretty much click and drag and that will automatically adjust uh, the uh, fences for you. So you don't have to worry about uh, how wide your fence needs to be in order to fit the balcony. I then went ahead and started drawing windows all around the apartment unit. Then I simply adjusted the settings in order to make the window look like how I wanted it to. And as you can see, it affects both windows at the same time. Since I wanted both these uh, windows to be sort of like glass doorways, um, and I wanted them to look exactly the same, uh, it was quite handy in order to just adjust one setting and have it reflected on both. At this point, I realized I probably should have had uh, three of those uh, window doorways. Uh, but anyways, I just copied the settings from the previous one and um, yeah, pretty much created the same thing. When you draw an Archipack uh, window or an Archipack door on top of your Archipack wall, uh, the wall will automatically cut a hole in order to fit the window or the door that you're drawing. So that's pretty handy and you don't have to worry later on about cutting holes and things like that because it's all done for you. I also went ahead here and drew a ceiling. Well, not really drew a ceiling, I just clicked ceiling and it filled up the ceiling automatically for me. I then just extended it to fit the balcony area and I also added a wall to cover off the side as well. And that completed my one apartment unit. At this stage, I was happy with my unit and then I went ahead and selected all the objects Blender crashed on me at this point, I'm not sure why. But anyways, I selected all the elements like the, the walls, the fence, the ceiling, the ground and everything. Selected all and hit Ctrl J to make it all as one object. At this point I realized I was getting weird looking artifacts when I made it all as one object. So I think I just pretty much undid all my changes. And then instead of selecting all at once and then hitting Ctrl J, uh, I selected one element at a time and then selected the, uh, the wall last and then hit Ctrl J. So in this case, I selected the fence first and then the wall and then hit Ctrl J. Then I selected the windows and then the wall, Ctrl J, and then the ceiling, the wall, Ctrl J, and so on. Eventually, it uh, ended up looking quite nice. I also ended up deleting all those control objects uh, used to create a hole in the wall. We don't need it anymore since we made it all as one object. So here I added an array modifier and tweaked the settings to sort of uh, make it look like the reference, but also have a bit of fun with it and make it look like I don't know, the, the way that I want it to look. So pretty much just designing the, the floor of the apartment. I then duplicated the object by hitting Alt D and then just uh, flipping it around by hitting S, X, minus 1 to create uh, a different uh, look to the floor of the apartment. I then went around and uh, pretty much did the same thing. Just kept hitting Alt D, rotating, uh, changing the location uh, until I got the entire first floor of the apartment. So this pilot was quite fun, can be quite creative. 
I purposely made a little gap right in the middle of the front of the apartment. I just wanted to put a simple plane in there. Actually, it's just a cube that's uh, scaled down uh, in terms of thickness. I then adjusted the height of the uh, cube to match the height of the, the floor. At this point, the entire floor of our apartment was done. Since we are, I don't really care about the interior of the apartment, uh, I didn't care about that little middle part that looks empty. No one's going to see that anyway. So now it was time to play around with the shading and the materials of the apartment. So for the windows, I simply just turn the transmission up, turn the roughness almost all the way down to zero. Did the same thing for the uh, balcony fence. I also added a blue tinge to the window to make it look a bit more modern and a bit more cool. Same thing to the main windows, just a hint of blue. Uh, to the actual floor, I went ahead and selected all the front faces and all the back faces of the uh, the apartment unit. And then I UV unwrapped it by hitting uh, U, project from view while in front view. Then I went to side view and selected all the side faces. And then from the side view, I hit U, project from view to uh, un UV unwrap it from the side view. So that it will look good once we add uh, texture into it. So now I went ahead and hit a shift D to uh, duplicate it instead of uh, alt D to make it all its one object. And then I combine them all into one object by selecting all and hitting control J to make the entire uh, floor as one object. So now I added an array modifier and uh, turned the X part to zero and the Z part to one to add another floor on top of the existing floor. So now we can start to see our apartment take shape. I made some adjustments and tweaks to the floor because I, I noticed I made some errors here and there. I'm not exactly the best modeler in the world, so I, can, I make mistakes too. So uh, once I made those little tweaks, I just went ahead and uh, dragged that count up uh, and to about the level that I wanted my apartment to be. So I think an apartment is about 10-ish floors, so I think that's what I finally ended up going for. And that's what it looks like in Cycles rendering. So by default, it looked quite good. Just to make it look even better, I went ahead and went to texturehaven.com, downloaded a white plaster material, and applied it uh, to the walls. I simply went into the shading workspace of Blender 2.8, uh, then dragged and dropped all the uh, the textures, so the base color, the specularity, the roughness maps, all of that comes with texturehaven.com. And then I just plugged it into the relevant slots of the principal shader. Um, if you're not familiar with it, you just pretty much just plug the base color image into the base color node of the principal shader, the roughness uh, image into the roughness node of the uh, principal shader, and also the same thing with the uh, specularity as well. For the bump you also need to add in a bump node in vector bump I believe it is and then plug the normal map of that bump map into the principled normal uh, node. So as you can see in this time lapse uh, I kept crashing it kept going out into the folder view again. Uh, I think my image textures were quite large that's why I kept crashing and also the fact that uh, the array modifier was visible so I think I actually end up having to hide the array modifier and then apply the textures. Otherwise it just kept crashing on me. Just like I did right now. So now I could tweak the textures and make it look like the way I want. For the window frames, I just uh, added a dark blue material and made it quite metallic. I think that's the same thing I did with the balcony railings as well. Uh, for the, the walls, uh, I found that it looked a little bit too brown, so I just uh, mixed it using a mix RGB node and mixed it with a whitish, creamyish kind of color to make the walls look a bit more brighter. 
I then uh, went ahead and added another special wall material, which is just a copy of the wall material that we just made, but I uh, now mixed it with a black uh, color. So just to add a bit more color variation to our apartment, make it look less boring. So then I went into edit mode and set to all the, the walls where I wanted this special color and uh, assigned this new special wall material. Simply just to add a bit more style to our apartment. And finally, we ended up with an apartment that looked like that. And at this point, I pretty much called it done. So now I went ahead and uh, again, using my backyard asset pack, I tend to use my backyard asset pack for everything. I just went ahead and added all the decorator stuff. So the fences, trees, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't use anything else. Just picked a fence that I liked and then just applied it. If you want to get the backyard asset pack for yourself, just go to blendermarker.com and you can buy it for like $20, I think. If it's not on sale. Uh, once I was happy with the fence that I wanted, I just added an array modifier and dragged it all the way through. Nothing special here, just being a bit more creative, making it, making the apartment look more interesting that rather than just rendering a plain old apartment itself. I also added a plane at the bottom, just so that we can get a bit more light bounces going on in cycles. And I managed to get something that looks like that. To add more visual interest, I went ahead and also brought in the trees from the Backyard Asset Pack and then just filled up my scene with a bunch of trees, just to make it look more natural, a bit more lived in. At this stage I was quite happy with my apartment, so I just went ahead and tweaked some of the settings, made sure I used the filmic color management space in the render settings, and I also went ahead in the world settings and added an environment texture and added a HDRI image of the sky, just so that we get a bit more realistic lighting, and then just tweak some of the settings to, to make it look like uh, a, a sort of afternoon setting. And then tweaked the direction of the sunlight and yeah that's pretty much it i tweaked it a bunch more and then i finally created the final render oh yeah i think i also ended up changing the sky image the hdri image to a more uh, brighter sunny day uh, because this was sort of like a modern beach style apartment so i wanted a sort of bright beach day kind of sunny look So now I played around with the render settings and created the final render. I rarely ever finish a rendering and call it done. I always try to add a final pop to the image by going to the compositor and adding a bunch of effects. So in this case, I added a lens distortion with a bit of distort and dispersion. I added a bit of a glare just to add a bit of a glow to it. I added a color balance node, uh, which is sort of what film industry experts use and to create a sort of mood to the render. I also played around with the RGB curves to make it look a bit more brighter. So 
So at this point, I finally called my render complete. So that's pretty much how you create an apartment in Blender. Hope you liked the video uh, and thanks for watching.